Robert Eston here at livingpianos.com playing a magnificent concert grand, an American-made Mason and Hamlin nine-foot concert grand built in 1975. Such a wonderful piano, a real pleasure to play this instrument. The action has been uh, refined with new parts. It's got Renner hammers, it's got new shanks, new knuckles, uh, new back checks, new front rail bushings, key bushings, key tops. The action plays at a very high level. Fortunately, the strings and everything are in great shape. The piano's not that old. Soundboard's impeccable. Of course, Mason and Hamlin's are really built to last with massive inner and outer rims and even the tension resonator system, metal bracing to assure the longevity of the piano. Mason and Hamlin also has the distinction of being one of only two companies producing concert grands in the United States, along with Steinway. Steinway, New York, Mason and Hamlin outside of Boston. So I want you to hear the beauty of this instrument. I'm gonna start off for you today with a little bit of Mozart. This is actually the second movement of the K330 C major sonata. And the reason why I chose this for you is it has a middle section that's in the minor, that you have a change of color. And that's really what I enjoy about a great concert grand like this, is all the different tones that it's capable of. Hope you enjoyed this Mozart.
the action on this piano is very fluid. You know, sometimes we get pianos from other people who've rebuilt them, and if the wrong specification is used, even if it's off by a tiny amount, it's amplified because of the geometry of a piano. That's why it's really critical to choose the right hammers when restoring a piano. So I'm gonna move on now and play something that shows the other side, Beethoven, a little bit of heroic playing in his C minor, Opus 10 number one sonata, and you'll hear how the sound, you can't get an ugly sound out of this piano. It just has a very warm, round sound as you hear in the Opus 10 number one. Once again, Beethoven for you. So a little bit of fire there for you. I want to end with some lyricism. A nocturne of Chopin, just a shortened version of his beautiful F sharp major. Hear the beauty of the tone, and you'll listen how it's possible to get these delicate little runs and things. I love a piano that's regulated like this, and one that you are richly rewarded with the sound. So here's some Chopin, the F sharp, once again, the F sharp nocturne of Chopin. Quite a lyricism there. It really is a joy to play because right at your fingertips you have total control over everything because of the refinement of the action and you're rewarded with that deep, rich Mason Hamlin tone, which really is a sound all its own, isn't it? 
I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, this is Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. Delivery anywhere in the world, free within the continental United States. See you next time.